um, for the hospital so we can see Matt a little bit. We're just playing around on the iPad. Um. Liddles, and I thought I'd give this one a try. It is a electric neck and heat bag. Maybe, maybe, maybe put it around the back of our chair so it can't move. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability Life. life. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday. Sunday the 16th of December. Day after what seeing Nan and Granddad, which is a good day out. Um, Stacy had a little bit of a lay in this morning because it's doing everything over the past couple of days. She's got a little bit too extra tired. Um, she's been working on any of the vlogs. Um, have a couple of vlogs to get done. She, uh, she's saying four vlogs, so she's busy trying to get that done. Um, I've been tidying things up, uh, but I'm kind of got on top of itself, so I'm trying to get that clean so it's a little more manageable. We just want to get everything done so we can go out tomorrow, because tomorrow is our anniversary that we've been married four years. I uh, plan on going to see a film at the cinema and go out for lunch or tea, depending on what time we got us to go out. So that's all we're doing for now. Bye for now. Did you see what the elves were yesterday? Did you? Did you? Well, this is where they were. You had to look really closely yesterday to have found Twinkles. She was hiding quite well yesterday. She was hiding above Granddad's head. She was tangled up in the tinsel that was all around the pillar just behind granddad if you look closely you can see her more than anything it's her legs that stick out but she was well hidden there she was definitely keeping an eye on nan and granddad making sure they were behaving themselves especially granddad trust me we all have to keep an eye on my granddad and then did you notice where sparkles was yep he was in granddad's trolley helping nan make sure that granddad didn't put extra chocolates in there Oh, Grandad's very good at that, especially those jelly babies. So Sparkles was in there, keeping an eye on Grandad. They did a good job yesterday, those little elves, keeping an eye on my Grandad and my Nana. Did you see them yesterday? Were you able to spot them? I know Twinkles was very well hidden. Sorry, I had to run off that quick just now. Um, we were getting a call from Stacy's cousin Kim. Um, from the hospital so we can see Matt a little bit. We're just playing around on the iPad um, doing the different filters. You can do it to our faces. We're going back and forth between us and them. So we're just doing that and having fun. Me and Misty have been chilling out on the bed um, editing the vlogs. I am um, exporting yesterday's vlog I already got the day before so I got Fridays up already I'm now exporting Saturdays to get that up um and then I'm hoping to edit this one and get it up tonight because tomorrow's our anniversary and we want to go out and that's why I've been resting all day today as well Misty was with me until I knocked all my cops over and made a big racket and disturbed him and now he's run off but he has been with me all day laid on the bed with me um, I wanted to show you a few bits and bobs that I have, um, that I brought from Lidl's yesterday. Um, so, 
So first couple of things I have are these toys that I found and I thought these would be brilliant for Kim's kids. They're very sensory orientated and they're made of wood and they were really good price. I think they were like five or six pounds um, and they can move these bits around any direction they want. Um, the packaging is not allowing me to show you how it's done but when I was in the shop there was some unpackaged so you could see what they did but yeah they just move around you can move them wherever you want to move them you can kind of see them slip in there um so lots of fun for the kids there this one here has beads in it and as you can see you can just move it around and pop the beads where you want to pop the beads so um, I guess if you wanted to be really, really clever, you could try and get the coloured beads in the coloured tummies. But in general, for Kim's kids, just the fun of shaking the beads around and the noises is pretty much the sensory they like. So, And it, it's made of wood, so this will last a long, long, long time. This is kind of really good for them. And what I liked about this particular one, I thought it had on both, but it doesn't. It actually only has it on this one. What I like about this one is it has the ability up the top here. It has this rope so that you can carry it around with you. Um, but this one doesn't. I thought it had on both, but it doesn't. So they can hook that onto the back of the chair or carry it around or, or where is it? There it is. Or whichever. I'm not quite sure yet what this bit is for. I guess at some point we find out when the kids get hold of it. It might be a magnet that helps move the balls around, I don't know. Um, and then I found this, which is modelling sand. Um, it's There's a proper name for this stuff, but this is the cheaper version. Um, but it's got things you could actually model the sand with, some little animal things. But in general, I think in the sensory of of playing with the sand and then it will help also to remind the kids of their holiday they had um up at felix Stowe when they were able to get on the beach and stuff like that so i thought they'd enjoy that currently editing the vlogs um that's where i do my um sorry my head is just not working i'm tired thumbnails i always do my thumbnails in gimp and my editor here is currently working over this side to put all of it into um, a file that I can then upload to uh, YouTube. But I've got to wait for this bar to fill up and then it will be done. And then I can upload it to YouTube. Something else I found in Lidl's and I thought I'd give this one a try. It is a electric neck and heat, back and neck heat pad, but it's electric. Um, I'm not sure how quite it connects yet. John and me are going to work, John worked it out more than I did. But there's like some sort of connection at the back here where it can connect and unconnect. And it's washable, which is pretty cool. So I'm hoping this will help with pain. Um, but I think that this pet pad works with batteries doesn't it John? No. How does it work? It oh it plugs into the wall. So that would be cool. We're gonna fiddle with this and, and see how I get on. It might help because hot water bottles help me with pain sometimes. So we thought we'd just give this a try. It was only £15 so and it's, it's really really soft too so and that shouldn't interfere with my seating. Normally on Christmas Eve we like to do um, a gingerbread house and decorate it but obviously we're going to be away Christmas Eve and so I just bought this little kit which is three little jumpers that we can decorate so we get a little bit of gingerbread on Christmas Eve. I treated myself to some Christmas socks for going away with for Christmas and I got some Reese's stuff for John for his Christmas stocking that I do up for him. He knew I got these, he saw me picking them up. So, um, yeah, Reese's is very American. He likes peanut butter things. 
I can touch it when it's in this box like this. Not in this box, I would avoid touching it. Ribbon, I found some ribbon. I'm hoping one of these ribbons, this one's so pretty, look at it. Oh, beautiful. And this one is so pretty too. I'm hoping one of these ribbons will help me make that um, thing I'm making with the um, pretty pictures and the hearts. Coffee time, coffee time. Honey. Yes, honey. I love you. I love you too. And I don't just love you because you make the best coffee in the world. <gasps> Do you think that's going to hold it? No. <laughs> I don't think it would hold it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I have my hair, baby. My hand. Let me move the ribbon. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Up it. Are you trying to teach Misty to be some sort of circus cat? No, it's time to jump up. <laughs> In here, I have John's Christmas present that he's not allowed to know what it is. I'm not showing you guys either because I don't want him to cheat and look at the vlog. So we will, for double measures, just cover that back up. Um, I'm using my bed at the moment to put everything on because my bed sinks. It doesn't not. It's not like my old mattress where it the static worked really well uh i got all the munchy stuff on the bed as well from traveling plus granddad and nana gave us some chocolates and things so i've just unpacked everything here we found some rechargeable batteries in littles which we thought would be brilliant for those that ladybug and the frog that are in my window and my gooseneck mic that i use for um editing things when I need to do voiceover on things. Oh. Not that I found the gooseneck mic in Littles, but yeah, we've uh, got a few bits and bobs from Littles and it was quite nice. Really interested to see how that um, heat thing goes with the, the back and neck heat thing. I'm hoping it will be really, really helpful. So I'm going to edit these videos and wrap some presents up get i'm trying to wrap as many as i can as i go along so that i don't have much to do at all last minute unlike john who hasn't wrapped anything yet <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna get on and do some work i guess so i want to show you this oh glare the back and neck heat pad I'm already taking it out of the box. I haven't looked at it yet, just taking it out. There is some at the neck, where the top of it is, there is some. If it cooperates with me. I have this upside down right now because it's not cooperating. I have some Velcro straps on top. But the picture shows it going around your neck. What I want to see where I'm not, it needs to go around her neck. Or if I can maybe put this around her chair and see if the heat comes out the, both sides of the pad. Maybe. maybe, maybe Put it around the back of our chair so it can't move. But it's a very nice soft material. Oops, blurry. Come on, come on, come on. Focus. There we go, we're focused. It's a very nice soft material. I'm not quite sure what this is yet. Um. I don't know, the white disc. <laughs> it has a belt here that snaps together that's supposed to go like a regular, like a um, rack sack snap. But it shows on the picture going around like your waist. And here is the controller. Looks rather simple. Zero. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And it plugs into the mains. And into, this plugs in somewhere. I, I, I don't figure out where at first. Hmm. Let me find where it plugs in. I'll let you know. One second. Okay, I figured out what the white disc is. The white disc has the plug in it. So this end plugs into the white disc. Let me untwist it and everything. One second. So it does have quite a long cord. It is 1.8 meters long, I believe it is. Um, no, 2.8 meters long. 2.8 meters long. So let me plug it all in for you. And if you are curious, the plug is oops, keyed. You cannot put it in the wrong way. This goes one way and then stop spoo, so you can't put it in the wrong way. And that's in. Now it says it does give out heat both sides, so let's turn it on. Because it's simply just Do that in the house. Ooh, a light. I'm not sure how long it takes to heat up. The bottom is definitely heating up faster than the top is. It's warm on this side, or well, getting warm. Getting warm on that side. Middle is still cold. The bottom is definitely getting warmer faster. But that should work. Or I could use, probably was the bottom belt, but I might be able to wrap the, that thing around um, the back of her headrest so it just stays here, chair, stays here, chair for her. Try it out and let you know how it works. I won't let you know today, but we will give you an update on our day. So, I'm gonna close the vlog up for now. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us in our crazy world. Bye.